Shimano's Link Glide 10-speed cassette is one of their e-bike and trail focus cassettes. In this video, I'm going to measure the cog pitch of this cassette. Then, I'm going to show you how this cassette shifts with a SRAM GX 10-speed group set. Link Glide has thick cogs to handle the torque of motorized drivetrains as well as the abuse of off-road trails. This cassette has 10 speeds from 11 to 39 teeth, making it more suitable for 2x drivetrains. Officially, it is only compatible with Q's Link Glide shifters and derailleurs. I measured the cassette in several ways. One method I used was to clamp a straight metal bar to the end of the hub and use a caliper to measure the depth from the bar to the face of each cog. Another method was to measure the depth from the face of one cog to the next. A third method was to measure the outside faces of pairs of cogs, mainly measuring from the outside of the largest cog to an inner cog. A fourth method involved measuring from each cog to the table. To calculate the cog pitches, I did my best to combine the measurements from all of these methods. Using some judgment, I settled on a list of nominal cog pitches. The pitches vary slightly between pairs of cogs, but overall the cog pitches stay roughly the same throughout the cassette. The average pitch is about 4.05 millimeters, slightly less than the classic 9-speed pitch of 4.15 millimeters, and slightly more than the 10-speed cog pitch of 3.95 millimeters. The fact that the Link Glide cog pitch is so close to the classic 10-speed cog pitch creates some real opportunities. Link Glide cassettes are inexpensive, durable, and have a wide range, so it is tempting to experiment with them. One possibility is to use the Link Glide 10-speed cassette with the SRAM GX 10-speed group set. First, let's see if this combination could plausibly work. On the left, you can see the average shift amount for the GX group set, and you can compare it to the cog pitch of the Link Glide cassette in the center. Additionally, on the right, you can see the compatibility range for the GX group. The Link Glide cog pitch is close to the middle of the compatibility range, which is a good indication that this combination could work. Here you can see me shifting through the gears of a Link Glide cassette using a SRAM GX 10 speed shifter and derailleur and a 10 speed chain. I found that this combination shifts quite nicely on the stand. It was easy to get good shifting with just a few turns of the barrel adjuster. I found that shifts were quick and crisp. I would test this combination on the road, but I don't have a bike to test this combination on. My main bike is set up as a road bike, and I don't want to swap the handlebars. I encourage you to try this combination on your own. I should mention that this 11 through 39 tooth cassette exceeds the official max tooth of the SRAM GX 10 speed derailleur. However, I was pleasantly surprised that the derailleur handled the cassette with no problem, and I barely needed to adjust the B limit screw. Thank you for watching. I've laid out all the specs here for reference, and I encourage you to find the info page link in the description to see more information about this cassette.